This week in the Real Review, we are featuring the Hunter Valley. And the Hunter Valley is uh, one of our famous, long-established wine regions, very well noted for white wines, at least as much as its reds. Um, generally across Australia, there is more red than white wine produced by a little small margin, but in the Hunter, I think it's the other way around, there's a little more white than red produced. The famous varieties being Semillon, of course, which is unique in the world, Chardonnay, and the local specialty for everyday drinking, which is Vidello. Today we've got Semillon and two Chardonnays to look at. First one is Tyrrell's Vat 1, which is a winemaker's selection, one of their top range of wines, 2016 vintage. Then a couple of Chardonnays, we've got Briar Ridge, Briar Hill, uh, and that's a 2019 vintage. And finally, Keith Tullock, Field of Mars, single vineyard, Chardonnay 2018. I'm Hugh Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So the wine we're tasting now is Tyrrell's Vat 1 Semillon 2016. It's a winemaker's selection wine, which, is mean, which means it's one of their top wines at Tyrrell's. It's, uh, it's not cheap, it's $98. Tyrrell's, of course, one of the famous family wineries of the Hunter. It's been going for well over 100 years, established in 1858, now in its fifth generation with uh, Bruce and his son Chris uh, on, the, on the ground and working at Tyrrell's. Have a sniff, and there are classic Samyon characters of lemon, uh, lemongrass, but in this one particularly, I get straw and meadow hay characteristics. So that lovely smell of curing meadow hay as it's lying in the paddock before you put the baler in and bale it up. It's also got some sort of minerally characters, a chalky, earthy character, a little overtone of that to it helps in add the interest to the wine. But toastiness, which comes into these wines with age, is barely started in this wine. At six years of age, it's barely started to be toasty. I think that's a good sign. It indicates that the wine is aging slowly. Let's have a taste. Good crisp acidity, a beautiful wine to get the taste buds salivating, get you prepared for a meal, a good aperitif in other words. So this is very much a light bodied wine. It's dry, there's no residual sugar. The acidity is fresh and mouth watering. It's very, very light bodied and yet it has intensity and length of flavor, beautiful. We are recommending to have with this wine a ceviche of fish, uh, a scallop ceviche in fact, which is um, obviously marinated scallops. They're marinated in something acidic, which, uh, which transforms them slightly. So they're, they're soaked in lime juice and vinegar in this particular recipe that we're looking at. So the wine we're about to taste is Briar Ridge, Briar Hill, individual vineyard, Chardonnay, 2019, from the Hunter Valley. Briar Ridge, of course, is part of the group that's owned by John Davis, which includes Pepper Tree, perhaps an even more well-known name in the Hunter Valley. Uh, he also has vineyards in Rat and Bully and in Orange and in Coonawarra. So really quite a big empire John Davis is building up. Let's try it and see what it's like. And the nose is really quite complex. It's got a lot of winemaking artifact as well as fruit coming through there. There's that struck flinty character, that uh, almost a gun, gun uh, smoke character, uh, which comes from slight sulfides involved in the, in the barrel fermented wines often have that character, especially wild yeast fermented wines. This wine's got a lot of character, a lot of complexity and the oak. It's been barrel fermented, but oak is not very strong at all. In fact, it's pretty hard to, to pick the oak from that complexity of aromas. Really quite nice. Let's have a taste. A lovely light bodied Chardonnay, intense, but it has delicacy, restraint, finesse. Uh, that is a, is a beautiful wine that I could drink several glasses of. It's not a heavy or overpowering wine. It's only about 13.3% alcohol. Uh, clean finish, no sweetness that's obvious in that wine. And as I say, the oak is so beautifully integrated and seamless in that wine, you don't really notice it, but it certainly adds to the complexity and the mouthfeel and the length of palate of that wine. The food that we've recommended to go with this Briar Ridge Chardonnay is 
a Donna Hay recipe. It's miso grilled chicken rice bowl. I love miso on chicken. It's such a marvellous combination and those sort of foods go really well with Chardonnay. We're about to taste Keith Tullock Field of Mars Chardonnay 2018. This wine, Field of Mars, is named after uh, their vineyard on the Hermitage Road, the, the white sandy soils of the, of the river flats of Hermitage Road, which is, um, Keith chooses to call it the Field of Mars, uh, probably because it looks kind of desolate, because it's sandy. The nose is really complex. There's a, a lot of um, smoky, smoked meats, charcuterie kind of characters overlying the, uh, the more citrusy uh, characters of the fruit itself. Really lovely combination. There is nothing that sticks out there. There's no, the oak is not sticking out. The, the reductive characters are not too strong. It's, um, it's beautifully harmonized aroma. I like that a lot. Real Chardonnay, that's the full symphony orchestra playing there. It's full bodied, but it's not overpowering or heavy. It's not oily or, or fat or viscous. It's just, there is intensity of flavor with lovely penetration and refreshment. There is the finish is clean and refreshing and you want another sip, it's not heavy. Um, and that complexity also comes through very strongly on the palate. There's a lot of nutty characters, a lot of um, charcuterie, smoked meats, those sort of aromas, delicatessen kind of aromas. They really add an extra layer to the uh, patina of the top, on the top of, that, of the fruit there, it's lovely. Food, great food wine. And I would say that uh, that would go really well with a lot of poultry dishes and a lot of seafood and fish dishes, but we've recommended fettuccine with smoked salmon, good health. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.